Hi, this is Mohammed Shakil here and in this video I'm going to show you how you can use the extrapolate command in the wireframe and surface design of the KTLV5. So I'm going to open up uh, wireframe and surface design workbench and uh, I'm going to draw a profile so I can show you how the command really works. So for the sake of explanation I'm uh, uh, using the spline so I can better explain the two. So I'm giving around 30, we'll extend and click OK. So we have the surface over here. So now I'm going to show you how I can do extrapolate. So what does this extrapolate mean? Extrapolate simply extends the surface uh, beyond a certain limit or a certain boundary. So uh, all we have to do is just specify the boundary and the support surface. Boundary and support surface. So support surface is going to be specified under the extrapolated. So here we have the distance uh, to which we need to extrapolate. So just give 50 or whatever and you're uh, going to see So the extrapolation. So see. Uh, here again we have two options. That is a continuity can be tangent or uh, curvature. So tangent simply uh, whatever extrapolation that happened over here is going to be tangent with the point at the point where the surface is. So if I give curvature, what happens is the element simply continues its curvature uh, at the point where I've selected as a boundary. So this is a simple uh, explanation of uh, the extrapolate definition in the surface. Now let's come to the curve. So let me just uh, take a curve from here. So uh, it's not practical to take the curve right here because this, is, this comes in the extrude. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to the insert operation and selecting the extract button so I can just uh, take or extract the curve from this extract uh, uh, from this extrude uh, definition. So I have this uh, separate curve over here. Now I'm going to extra. I'm going to extrapolate this particular curve beyond the certain boundary. So this is going to be my boundary and this is going to be my extrapolated. So here we have, uh, you know, I'm going to give the same distance, 50, and I'm going to show you how it works with uh, tangent and curvature. So in the curvature, it uh, forms the curvature, which generally the spline forms, it continues. So this is how, uh, you know, the extrapolate definition works. So to better explain the tool, I'm going to open up a file and I'm going to show you how this extrapolate tool is going to help you. In, uh, in doing the modeling. So this is a basic modeling of a car so which is uh, being done on the surface. So I'm going to show you, see let's just say in this wheel part I want to, I, I want to, uh, you know, I want some more of this particular surface. So let's just say I'm going to select the, uh, I'm going to select the, you know, extrapolate so which is uh, located over here and I'm going to select the boundary so this is going to act as my boundary and this is going to be the extrapolated surface so let me just give uh, around uh, 200 or something I'm going to give uh, this much big value because this is a big car and uh, the values are given uh, you know with respect to the real values of our car so we can see the extrapolation being happened at this particular point with this particular distance. So this is how the extrapolation works with the surface in a real uh, car designs or uh, you know airplane design, airplane designs or something. So I'll just click OK and I can see the surface is being extrapolated from the boundary. So let me just uh, show you the curvature. So how the extrapolation is going to help with the curvature. So I'm going to delete the last uh, extrapolation that I've done. So let let it be over there itself. So I'm going to uh, <coughs> I'm going to select this uh, point um, over here, and I'm going to extrapolate. So let's just say uh, that this is my element. I'm going to specify the length and uh, I can click preview 
and I can see the distance. So here again I have two options, that is one is curvature and it's going to be following the curve which the spline has followed. So this is a simple explanation which explains and which explains the scope of uh, extrapolate definition. So I hope you follow my video and uh, please subscribe me and uh, like my videos and support me and make the channel lively. Thank you.